Good morning, welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I'm your host, James Borman. If you are coming through, please do let me know by dropping a like, commenting, whether this is relevant to you, whether you understand this in your own context, and obviously share if you want to. So this morning, I want to talk about taking ownerships for bad decision making. Now, I'm going to talk very quickly about my previous business and the bad decisions, decisions I made that led it to having to meet to have it close it down. All right. So in 2013, I started a boot camp in my local town right here. Now, you could argue, argue uh, that it was probably the number one boot camp, pretty busy. We had over 300 members in its peak. And we built that up. And we built that up because I put my heart and soul into it. At the sessions, I built up a great rapport with all my clients. I built up a great reputation for tough, ideous training with zero tolerance and bullshit for excuses for not showing up. Made it affordable and had a great deal of success with it. In 2016, no, in 2017, we had Alba, who was three. And when we had Alba, the way that I thought I wanted to live my life was completely different which meant that I didn't want to be held to having to be somewhere in the evenings, in the mornings. I wanted freedom. I wanted freedom of time. Money wasn't important to me, never has been. But freedom and time has always been the most important thing for me as a business owner, okay? That's what I always strive for. I might not be a millionaire in terms of currency but I am in terms of my time and living life on my terms and that was the vision right in 2017 so then we introduced the dad coach which has now been rebranded to the man coach so I went all in on my online business all in because I was chasing that lifestyle design that I desperately desired desperately wanted And in parallel, parallel with that, I brought in some instructors to help me run Body Shock. But it wasn't me running Body Shock. And over a four or five years, I built up the USP of the bootcamp to be me, rather than it becoming a business. I worked in the business rather than on the business. And suddenly my energy, my time, my drive, my passion had transferred from the local boot camp to working with men online. Because that was my passion, by the way. That was my passion. I wanted to work with men that were ready to show up, okay, and work with me to change the way they live their lives. And the passion there was because of obviously what I went through. So if you know my story, my transition from the military to civilian life, plucking myself out of the adult cauldrons and reshaping my life. And BSF, Body Shop Fitness, had a huge part to play in that because it gave me identity. That business gave me identity, confidence, new friends, new focus, new desires, new hunger for life. And I feel, well, I have to take ultimate responsibility for the failure of it towards the end. Now, if I had managed that transition properly from running Body Shop Fitness to the man coach, we'd still be running Body Shop Fitness now. We had great staff, but I had no quality measures in place. I had no structure in place. And a lot of the time, my energy was spent on how can I grow my online business. So in the end, when COVID come around, that was kind of like the last straw. That was kind of like the end, if you like. For body shock 
And I have to take ownership for the way that I managed that because I didn't manage it well. I didn't manage both businesses well. I didn't grow both businesses. And as a result, in theory, lost one. Now I am where I'm meant to be. I don't like fear regret or remorse. Um, I think life is a big learning curve. And I think when we're in business for ourselves or we're in your own career, you have to look at things that have happened and, and where you win is where you take those problems that you had, those issues that you faced, those mistakes that you made, those bad decisions, those bad calls, and you have to take them onto your next project, your next chapter of your life. Now, I would say that, you know, I'm at the very start of a brand new chapter in terms of the man coach. The plans that we have for it over the next 10 to 20 years are ambitious and monumental. So I'm about to start a brand new chapter. Body Shop gave me everything. When I started in 2013, I didn't know what a P&L sheet was. Still don't, but <laughs> no, I do. But it gave me everything I needed to know in terms of learning in business. Learning as a guy who's trying to run a family, a business, uh, grow personally. And it gave me everything I know. And I've still, got, I've still got plenty of mistakes ahead of me. I've still made plenty of mistakes in the last two years. But the difference is learning from those mistakes and taking ownership for them rather than burying them in the sand and saying, oh, pretending that didn't happen. You know, I have to look at myself in the mirror and I will do. When I do a debrief of that business, I will look at all the wins and the losses. But the main wins is that we made a lot of friends from it. I met my partner through it. I met some of my best friends through it. We had a great time. It was a great learning experience. But we naturally evolve as human beings and that's okay to do. I spoke yesterday about not beating yourself up. I'm not beating myself up about it. You know, I went in there, I made that business a success. I took my eye off the ball, but then created another successful business where, in fact, I'm helping more people than I ever have helped, ever. You know, with the five-day challenges, with the 28-day programs, with the masterminds. I am where I'm meant to be right now. And I think in terms of you're in the middle of a career change, if you're in a career in the middle of like, do I want to stay in this job? Do I not want to be in this job? In 2017, I was in a place where I was un unhappy in terms of where my time and my energy was going and where I was. I wasn't unhappy with the job or the people, but in terms of what I wanted from my life. I'm only here once. I've got 40 years left, a good 40 years. I'm not going to spend those years dwelling in a place where I'm unhappy. So it takes massive action. It takes an elite operator mindset to make those changes. And over the last three, two to three years, I've worked my fucking nuts off to live life on my terms in the way that I want to. Sure, it sacrifices income, but I have more time with my family than I ever have. And once they've all grown up, once they've all moved on, then we can get to work. Okay, we get to work now, but everything is a growing process. Don't stay in the same rut. You have to take ownership for where you are right now in your career, where you're heading, what the next step is, the mistakes that you've made, the decisions that you're going to make or have made. It's a matter if they're right or they're wrong. You have to absorb them and move on to the next thing. All right, that's how chapters work and the transitions work. There's no way I'm fucking dwelling on it. Body Shop Fitness was a complete success. I just took my eye off the ball at the last minute. However, to the benefit of thousands of men. I hope that makes sense in some way. I hope I've managed to get that message across. I hope you have an amazing day. If this resonates with you, if this in some way, shape or form, whether it's a business or career, I'd love to hear from you. But it's about building up this elite operator mindset, okay, to get to the next level, to raise your game, to actually achieve everything that you want to achieve in your life on your terms.